Hey everyone, how will you solve a problem like this? When you have 4 root 3 times 2 root 6, all over root 3. We have seen multiplication and division of thirds, but now they're a bit more complex where fractions are involved. I'll show you how easy it is to actually complete them. We follow the same rules, but we just be careful not to make mistakes and we make sure we do everything correctly. Let's see how. 4 root 3 times 2 root 6, all divided by root 3. We multiply the top, the numerators, and we finish them off before we actually can divide, if we can divide. So 4 times 2 is 8. Now the thirds, 3 times 6 is 18. 8 root 18. Now this is so far what we have completed. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 6 is 18. We've completed now the numerator. We're going to divide by root 3 if we can. 8 divided by, there's an invisible 1, 8 divided by 1 is just 8. And now the thirds. Root 18 divided by root 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So 8 root 6 is our final answer. It's not hard. We finish off the top, the numerators, we multiply them together and divide by the third if we can. If, yes, we can in here, 18 divided by 3 can be simplified. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 8 root 6 is our final answer. Let's do two more examples. The next example now. 2 root 6 times 3 root 5, all divided by 10 root 15. We follow the same process. We multiply the numerators first. 2 times 3 is 6. We multiply now the thirds. Root 6 times root 5, root 30, all over 10, root 15. Can we simplify any more? Can we simplify? Yes, we can. 6 over 10 can be simplified. 6 over 10 is 3 over 5. Now we can simplify the thirds. Well, yes, again, 30 divided by 15. We can simplify that. Root 30 divided by root 15 is root 2. So our final answer is 3 root 2 divided by 5. So we multiply the thirds on top, we multiply the numbers on top, and we simplify and we get our final answer here. Last one, again we follow the same process. 5 times what's there? There's an invisible 1. There's an invisible 1 right there. So 5 times 1 is 5, root 5 times root 6, 5 times 6 is 30, all over, we're going to divide by root 3 if we can, 5 root 30 divided by root 3, can the thirds divide? Yes, 30 divided by 3 can be done, so 5, we know 30 divided by 3, is 10. So our final answer is 5 root 10. This is how simple it is. Don't get confused, don't panic when you see these kind of questions. Follow your normal timesing and dividing, multiplying and division of thirds and you'll notice it's pretty simple. Start with the numerators, finish them off, divide by the third in the denominator or divide by the denominator and you'll get your answer. Always make sure that you focus, zoom in and concentrate and if you remember, we mentioned that always we have to simplify thirds. So in your final answer, always check, can my third simplify? You always have to make sure that your third is in simplest form. Remember that 